strength conditioning looks and works. So there's two programs, in-season and pre-season. All these will be printed out and you will be sent this. And again, you're being sent this on the pretense that you've agreed to start off um, in the program and you have to take this and do it yourself. Um, so there's an explanation of in-season and pre-season. I won't read it out. You can focus on yourself again. In-season is more prevention of injury and maintenance of health and body movement while you're training and still maintaining strength and possibly getting stronger. Pre-season is more is strength and skill development. So to work on um, what you need to be focused on for next year. So there's two different programs. There they are. Um, I'll send them on too. Um, there's optional conditioning depending on your fatigue levels. However, you should be able to do conditioning. If not, you can't do conditioning. Everybody should be doing day three of the strength conditioning um, pre-season. That's the one in the purple. All that is is basically just a movement, a gymnastic style um, workout, um, which basically focusing on like crawling, gymnastics, and like joint health, and also with skill development. Shouldn't be fatiguing at all. Um, some notes beside each your name is notes for some of the concerns you may have had with us and what you need to be doing going forward. Um, for example, Reese, you're concerned about in regards to your own, you're still in season, how it's going to affect what you're actually looking to do. Um, and that's that, Josh, um, and notes for you, Jody, and notes for you too, Ailish. So that's everything. Just make sure you have a look at it before you start and take into consideration what you need to focus on this week.